Let me talk to the people. You are tired of being held back. You're tired of it. You're tired of it. It, it, it seems like it seems like every time you try to move forward or you try to do something to better yourself, it seems like things get in your way. Situations get in your way. And it seems like people that, that, that supposedly care about you and have your best interest at heart, it seems like those are the people that are supposed to be pushing you forward. Those are the people that are supposed to be supporting you and supposed to be supposed to be helping you. But instead, they are always becoming a stumbling block or getting in the way. And, 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 and the crazy thing, uh, you fight frustration because you're, you, you try your best to hold your peace because you want to say the wrong thing, because you love God and, and, and you know because you want to do the right thing. But frustration is building. Frustration is building, is building, is building. And you don't know how much you can take. You don't know how much more you can take. You don't know how much more you can take. You can take. And, but I want to encourage you. I just want to encourage you. I want to encourage you to, to say that, that to hang in there. To hang in there and, and, to, and to hang around. Hang in there and hang around and just know that whatever you're going through and whatever you're, whatever you're dealing with, where in yeah, you just tie it. You're just frustrated because you feel like you, you feel like it's like let me let me give you an example. I'll give you an example of uh, now I know this person. I know this person that that played football. Now this person played he played high school football. Now he was the he was the fastest person on the team, and uh, he, he had the most skills. But because but because he wasn't the favorite. Uh, it was difficult for him to get playing time. For him, difficult to get in the game. But every time he tried to get in the, every time he wanted to get in the game, they would never let him get in the game. Never let him get. And so all he was waiting on, all he was waiting on was that one shot. All he was waiting on was that one moment, that one situation where where he can just get in because he's been asking the coach. He's been asking, let me get in, let me get in because because he see what other players are doing. And he said to himself, I can do better than that. I can do better than that. You know, and he keep, he keep harassing the coach. He keep letting the coach know, coach, I'm ready. Coach, I'm ready. Coach, I'm ready. And, and so, and so, and so, and so to one day, to one day, the coach let him in. The coach let him in. And when the coach let him in, he gave, he did, he, it was like the moment, it was like his last moment. He, he gave him, he, he gave it everything he had. He gave it everything he had. He gave his best. And so that's where many of you are at. Because you're saying to yourself, you're saying to God, I'm ready. But it feels like you've been held back and you're tired, you're tired, you're tired of people and situations and circumstances holding you back. All your life, every time, every time it felt like, every time it felt like, every time you felt like you was ready to go. Every time you felt like God said yes and God said go and do this. Something came and, and, and it got in your way and it caused you to pay attention to that. And, and, and it was frustrating because, because you wanted to do what God was calling you to do. You knew you had a calling, but, but it was like you're fighting certain things. You're fighting certain things in your flesh. You're fighting certain things because there are certain desires that you wanted, but at the same time, you still wanted to please God. You still want to please God. But now you're in this situation where you're tired. You're tired. You're tired of going through the same old cycle. You're tired of every time, every time, every time you're about to launch something that comes to try to knock you down. Every time, every time it's time for you to do certain things for God, something comes and get in your way. Well, you got to pay attention to that. And so you're not going to let that happen right now. And so let me, let me tell you something. God is going to remove the hindrance. God will move the hindrance. God will move the hindrance. See because see because if God got a plan for you, if God got a, a, a promise for you, you're gonna fulfill it. If God says you're gonna do a certain thing, believe me, believe me. God let every man be a liar, but let what God say be true. And and so and so hang in there and hang around, hang around and trust God, because He know what you're feeling and He know what you're going through. And and you know what? And uh, you know what? You know what? And the thing about it, let me tell you something else. Where it feels like you've been held back, it feels like you've been held back, and in, in some cases, it was it was, it felt like you were dealing with those things, circumstances, stuff like that. But God says He created that. See, because your warfare became your shield, and the purpose of your warfare becoming your shield, it was the purpose of blocking your eyes from things you didn't need to see. Blocking your ears from things you need to hear, and so, but what God was doing, it's almost like it's almost like being held back. It's almost like having a slingshot, and so the more you hold that slingshot back, at some point when you let it go, you're gonna launch. 
And so God was been holding you back. He been holding you back, but he's been holding you, been pulling you back. He been pulling you back. He been pulling you back far and far. And so the more he pulled you back, the more far you won't go. You know what I'm saying? The more you've been set back, the more you've been knocked down, the more you've been set back. God is gonna call you to lunch. Hear what I'm saying? In the mighty name of Jesus.